everyone and we are going to continue with our video on endometriosis. I'm Dr. Tan Yiping, consultant, obstetrician and gynecologist. Uh, we want to know why the ovary attached back to the uterus. So number one, the doctor must have separated it. But what happens is, even after separate, there is a tendency of going back. One of the ways to prevent that is to put gel adhesion barriers we call it adhesion barriers so they don't stick back question number one i would want to know is whether the doctor did put because we know that if you put then even if it stick back it is usually not stick hard you know it's usually a much a softer type of uh, attachment rather than a hard attachment or it should not actually literally stick back it should be still separated but maybe it's just at the location but okay it, what if it actually stick back? What should you do? I will have a question for asking um, What is her main problem? Is it pain? Is it pregnancy? Is it just a disease or is it pregnancy? If it's just a disease, all women after endometriosis surgery need to be on maintenance treatment So same, you just need to be on maintenance treatment There's no problem having the ovary behind the uterus, no issue But is it because of something else like you're trying to get pregnant and this ovary stuck is affecting you then it's okay you have two ovaries as long as the criteria number one your endometriosis is totally removed if your endometriosis is totally removed you only need one ovary to get pregnant you don't need two so it's fine because most of the time the ovaries that get stuck is usually only one so i may have more new things as we go along so always good to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on to the notification button so that whenever you have new info on endometriosis new videos on endometriosis you will be notified by your phone so uh, go ahead and look through and if you have any questions you want to ask me about endometriosis do put it in comment section yeah so that's all for tonight bye <music>